your girl at Christine and after checking out the odd ones out you guys were a lot of you guys were like hey you need to check out Jaden animations opinion on Halloween so that is what we're gonna check out here I can't wait to see what her opinion of Halloween is I think it's a cool chilled holiday I think there are a lot of fun things around it you know getting to dress up and you get candy obviously it's a little unclear on whether you should eat candy you get from random strangers because on the regular sits regular day situation you wouldn't you wouldn't just walk around and get candy from people but they do have a lot of fun events that they do so I think maybe there could be some good things in that maybe but nonetheless let me know your opinion on Halloween down below in the comment section let's check out this video and let's get started Halloween is coming up, and I feel peer pressured by myself to make a Halloween themed video. So that's yeah, what you're watching. But when I sat down to try and think of too. something to talk about, nothing really came to my mind. Mm -hmm. I don't have any crazy Halloween stories or over the top thoughts about it. It's okay. kind of just a meh, meh holiday for me. Then I realized yeah, I, can see I have nothing to say about Halloween. So that's what Which this video is about. YouTube Reasons video. why I'm not the biggest fan of Halloween, but it's not like I don't like it. I'm just overall neutral about the whole thing. Please don't just like this video. I always <laughs> I hear about people either thinking Halloween is the best That's holiday funny. and anyone who doesn't think so can be sacrificed by goats. Goodness! Or, Halloween That's is horrible extreme. and it's just an excuse to make dumb skeleton puns and worship Satan. Oh, and I am gosh. neither of those. The most those are really high is extremes. reference the Halloween spoopy meme an unhealthy amount of times because that's really my favorite That's thing cute. about the whole season. Yeah, that spoopy. probably explains very well the extent of my Halloween enthusiasm. The thing spoopy. is, I'm willing to give Halloween a chance. I just haven't had any great amazing spooptacular things happen when I celebrate Halloween. Mm. So to all you huge Halloween enthusiasts, we love the spoops. I don't know, tell me how to be more spoopy. So, yeah, it's pretty bad. So I decided cute. to cover some main Halloween staples and explain, okay. I guess, why Halloween doesn't stand out to me. Okay. So hooray, let's get ready for some transition, transition slides. slides. Parties. <laughs> you think I'm popular and outgoing enough to even be invited to regular parties? <laughs> <laughs> think I am? An extrovert? The majority of the Halloween themed oh, parties so I've cute. been to are those neighborhood parties where all the adults get together with their kids mm. and everyone's got mediocre costumes on I have and not been nothing fun else. really happens. Just small talk and alcohol that. for the adults yeah. and hyperactive kids running around being brats. I never know what to do at parties so I just follow my mom around like an idiot. Aww. Sometimes people would be like, oh Jaden, you've gotten so big since the last time I saw you. <laughs> How's school? Literally. I think that's, that's the only thing adults know what to say That to is us. so and true because be that's normally what they do say. You know, like, oh, you've gotten so big since the last time I saw you. Oh, how's school? Or how's football? Or, like, or, you know, whatever activity they last remember you possibly doing. It's small talk. That's, you know, the nature of it. Yeah, I haven't been to any parties like that with, like, my parents taking me to Halloween stuff. My parents didn't celebrate Halloween. Only one time my mom took us to her job for something, but she was late, so nobody was there. So we dressed up in a little costume. I think we were, like, ballerinas. Went to her job, she was late, nobody was there. I don't think we even got candy, and we just came back home. That was probably the extent of my um, Halloween fun, spooktacular experience. Just realized how sad that was. <laughs> Let's get back to the video. Oh dear. Because when I try to put myself in their shoes and think about what I would try to say to a millennial, I wouldn't know what to talk yeah, about either. Yeah, true. So, do you guys still dad? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, that meme has been brutally uh, murdered. Last Halloween though, oh, all dear. my friends wanted to go to some oh, random Halloween party that. at some person's house I didn't know. And in my, my head, I was like, Eh, but what if we just stayed here? But I just went with it because, of course. I don't know. I could have stayed at the dorms. They weren't forcing me or anything. True. I just already knew what was going to happen. They are all going to split up and I was going to end up following one friend I, around I'm like I'm sorry, idiot. I and hate... And that's exactly what happened. I hate I that that happened. I don't understand how people can just go to a party where they don't know anyone. Like, they're not even technically invited. <laughs> their friend is going, so they just came along too. And they can leave being that's... best friends with everyone and all of a sudden being in a relationship. Oh, how? that is I funny. I thought they try to initiate a simple conversation with someone without overanalyzing the freak out of everything. Aww. I should talk to someone. Yes. Wait, what's her personality like? Are they outgoing? Oh dear, she's like overthinking it! At parties? What do I even say? I hate small talk. No, don't think about yes, that. What's the best way to introduce myself? Hi. Should I be friendly or try to say something funny? No, no, no. What's just their say hi. preference? I don't know what makes them laugh. I don't even know. Don't overthink it! Like, no, if I talk to them. What do I say after I say the first thing? I don't want to end up saying one thing and all of a sudden it's awkward tension. Yeah, they seem sure. annoyed, they probably hate me already. <laughs> 
probably hate me already and they haven't even spoken to you yet I and I get that I can I can have social awkwardness as well and I'm shy when it comes to meeting people I I do get social anxiety but just start off by saying hi and saying my name saying try to find out something about that person if you try to find out something about them then maybe you can find something that you can kind of chat about and go from there I'm a weak person. Yeah, please no Scary start things off. are not my fault. I don't like the other night either. I scared myself by accidentally turning the bathroom fan on instead of the light. So you I can guess that I don't regularly so indulge myself. in spooky movies by my own free will. Oh, no. But last year, my friends no, no, all no. decided to celebrate the Halloween season by watching a scary movie every single night of October leading Gosh. up to Halloween. Gosh. The stress. I guess. Every <laughs> I night, guess. I was absolutely terrified because I thought I was about to be scarred oh for life. Gosh. But after it ended, I was very underwhelmed and disappointed. It's That's completely good. based on the specific movies we watched. I know there's undeniably horrifying ones out there yes. that would absolutely destroy yes, me. Yes, I've but had even those. a fragile leaf like me thought the ones that we watched were below par. That's good though. One example was the Blair Witch Project, which we all know is a huge classic on the old horror movie. It series. is. If you haven't, I seen, haven't it, seen it, don't waste your time by skipping the video to not hear spoilers. Okay. A group of teens gets lost in the woods with their video camera while looking for There's something spook out there. I can't remember what it was, but it's not really that important. They just needed to go into the forest. <laughs> then they get lost That's and wander true. around in the woods. Sometimes they'd find a pile of rocks and they'd think it's spooky. Oh my know, every seven-year-old who plays outside with rocks does that. The one guy goes like, conveniently I know insane the plot the movie, and kicks their yeah. map into a river and they get even more lost and wander around in the woods. Exactly. Then I fell asleep for an hour. <laughs> then I woke up and they were still lost and wandering around <laughs> in the woods. They find an old house and the end. And I fell asleep for the majority of the movie and I didn't miss anything when I woke up. That's I know true. there's a new remake of it and that's probably a little bit better. Yeah, or at least it I probably so. is, but, but I, I wasn't don't spooked at all it. considering all the hype around it. And it. yes, I know it's special because it's one of the first to do the found footage style horror movie And I hate thing, those. But, I mean, that still doesn't cover the fact that it was boring with failed tension. But I do like The Nightmare Before Christmas. That's, that's a good a Halloween good, that movie. Is a good I movie. asked on Twitter if you guys thought it was a Halloween or a Christmas movie and it was way closer than I thought it was going to be. Even though it's obviously oh. a Halloween Halloween movie, people were still adamant about the fact that they the thought Christmas it was Christmas. Movie. Yeah, now, it's okay to have an opinion, Hold and not now. many people can change the way you view something, but to all the people who think a it's a Christmas movie, you have Christmas to be willing movie. to accept the fact that your opinion is actually wrong. Oh. It was originally released October 13th, For Halloween, closer to Halloween, and the director of the movie himself, Henry Selick, mm. actually answered the question in an interview that it is indeed a Halloween oh, movie. Okay. Buy me a river and scream all you want. I'm not attacking <laughs> your opinion. You can see it as yeah, because people can be crazy about Patrick their opinion. For all I care. Just be able to accept the fact that it is literally canon that it's an official Halloween that's movie. Fine. There's enough that's Christmas fine. movies around True. anyway. We don't need any more. Let Halloween Little have a time. Little spooker, that's so cute. I'm talking about the things like corn mazes or haunted houses. Oh, Going along the haunted houses lot. topic, I haven't been in many, but they were all just awkward. It's kind of just a been, conveyor well, belt of people story. walking through a semi-decently decorated area with other people in costumes yelling and groaning at them. <laughs> like, it's kind of just courtesy to go, ah, when they come at you, because otherwise it's kind of <laughs> weird not to do anything I else. I'm sure there's really awesome, well-executed ones out no. there. I'm very willing to accept that fact, but I just don't think that it's worth spending $20 to go out and do. Just uh, my opinion. Don't, don't you <laughs> enjoy it. Again, this video is my general I love neutral Hal, view. It's and I get why she does this, because some people, when you share your opinion, some people in the comments will take such huge offense. Like, it, it, it's not even like we even said anything against you or did anything to you, but you'll see, you guys see them. People will come in the comment section and be like, I am offended because you said A, B, C, D, and you didn't say anything actually offensive. You just shared your opinion. And by your opinion, they got very, uh, very offended. And it's not even anything like of rich integrity. Like, it's not about politics. It's not about race. It's not about orientations or anything like that. It's simply your opinion on what you like about a movie or what they, what you like about a toy or a show or something. And that can really fire some people up. And it's the craziest thing. So I get why she has these little um, slides or these little um, cards where you just see the person like saying trigger, trigger, and they're like shaking her. Cause I'm sure she goes through this all the time with animations where she shares her opinion about nothing of huge consequence. It could be something about entertainment. And then people are just going, crazy. <sighs> calm down. People need to just calm down. It's not that I don't like them. I just haven't been to any that amaze me. 
I'm I'm afraid to go to them. Of course, how thing. could I not talk about the biggest part I of Halloween? Just candy. Trick or treating. Jaden, are you saying you don't like going out with friends in costumes and getting oh candy? My, I like I don't that know. person. It's not like I didn't like it. I always went out Aww, and did it, but I was never so really cute. super enthusiastic about it. Aww. And save your gas, but Let I'm guess. not the biggest fan of candy. Okay, candy. hold on. Oh, hold on. Now I'm hashtag triggered, okay? How you don't like candy, Jaden, huh? How you don't like candy? Calm down, everybody. I was just kidding. So nobody get angry. It was just a joke. Don't get me wrong, but I can't <laughs> handle too much of it. I um, like that guy. My costumes growing up weren't really the oh, best. Oh, that's cute. I mean, not really the worst either. Uh -huh. One of the only costumes I even remember is when I was younger. I was obsessed with the oh, Powerpuff Barbara Girls, Girls, and I wanted to be Bubbles because she, she was, was the my cutest. favorite. So my mom ordered a Bubbles costume she online, so... and when it arrived, the <laughs> wig wasn't even a wig. It was this huge cutout foam hat thing. Oh. The eyes were these huge dumb glasses that were bigger than my oh. head. The dress was the same fabric as the hair really? and it just draped over my entire body like a curtain. It looked oh. ridiculous, but little Jane at the time thought it was the freaking bomb. Look at this! Like, that was I so cute! Bubbles. The powers were literally bestowed upon me <laughs> via the tacky $15 costume. I think that, that was, was my adorable. favorite costume in my trick-or-treating years. Oh. So, yeah. I don't know if that's, that's a good so thing cute. or a bad thing. It's good. I love her animation style. And I like the storytelling animation, like how they use their animations to do story time. Her, Odd One's Out, um, Swoozy does that. I know, I'm sure there's like a myriad of other animators that do that. Uh, Sugar does that as well. It's really cool when they use that to tell their stories and the different things that they include in it in the animation. Like you have the, char the character of them, the animated character of them telling the story and then you have the actual story being played out in front of you or like the listing things and stuff like that. Or Swoozy, he will physically tell you the story and have the story played out in front of you, which is pretty cool. As far as my take on Halloween, I guess I kind of feel a little bit the same, but more so on the excited about it part. And it's mostly because I'm excited for the season. It's holiday season, it's one of the first big holidays to kick off, like you got Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Like, it's the, that's just how it all lines up. So it's the beginning of an awesome time. My favorite time of year is now until January 3rd. January 3rd is when I'm like, ugh. Holiday season is over, I'm so upset. I don't know, I don't really have any zest. I know a lot of people have asked me, hey, Christine, what are you gonna be for Halloween? And I'm like, I don't really go anywhere. I don't have anything that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna, we're gonna be giving out candy, so that's a good thing. That's about it. Like, I, I don't have any plans to go to any parties or to dress up or anything like that. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Are you excited for Halloween? How do you feel? What's your opinion? If you like that video, check out the link in the description box below. If you like this video, hit the like or that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you're notified of when I post. I love you guys as always and until next time. Toodles!